The annual OECS Blue Economy Roundtable discussions aim to raise interest in and drive sustainable ocean investments around the OECS. Discussions emphasize the importance of integrating environmental, social and governance criteria into blue investments and provide a platform for key stakeholders to meet, share insights and explore collaborative opportunities that could drive innovation and growth in the blue economy sector. We have a global ambition global ambition for France and Costa Rica who are co-hosting the conference and this ambition takes place 10 years after the Paris Agreement at the, order, at the end of COP21 as we remember and basically what we want to do is very simple we want to repeat a similar achievement for the ocean for the blue world and it's at the top of the French diplomatic agenda for 2025. The ambassador outlined the objectives which will be discussed at the upcoming 2025 meeting. He highlighted the need for protection of the marine environment and for citizens to be more eco-friendly. We have three main objectives as co-host. The first is to achieve successful conclusion of the multilateral processes linked at the moment to the ocean such as BBNG ratification or the negotiations of the Global Plastic Pollution Treaty. Why? Because we want to raise the level of ambition for ocean protection. Karine James highlighted the issues which hinder OECS member states fully utilizing the blue economy. She spoke of the efforts which Grenada is making for the sustainable use of its blue economy. Ms. James encourages member states to review their strategies to ensure their success. Grenada's blue economy strategy is central to our national development. With an exclusive economic zone that is the ocean plays a crucial role in our economy, our food security and of course climate resilience. Now to unlock the full potential of our oceans, policy coherence as you've heard before and regional collaboration are essential. We must also address key challenges like climate change, we must also address key challenges like biodiversity loss and pollution that are particularly pronounced in small islands developing states like ours. Minister Sean Edward honed in on the need for policies to be fine-tuned before venturing into the blue economy. He shared insight on St. Lucia's progress in forming a policy of strategic use of the ocean. In the absence of the requisite legislative framework, you find policies cannot always be as effective as they ought to be. And for us in St. Lucia, I should very quickly let you know that, yes, we have developed a national oceans policy and strategic action plan. It was very important for us to have had collaboration where the Department of Fisheries, the Ministry of Tourism, Sustainable Development, all came to the table. Because what you, you, you will find out as a minister and as a policymaker is that people bring their biases to the table. Discussions will be held with relevant stakeholders to ensure effective policies are created for the blue economy. The fourth Blue Economy Roundtable was held from October 15th to the 16th at Harbour Club Hotel, Rodney Bay, St. Lucia. For the DBS Newsworld, Manasseh Stanislaus reporting.